Hi guys, welcome back and today I've got my July favourites for you and there's a little bit of a mixed bag in here but I'm just going to get started. I'm going to start off with some skincare bits. Now if you saw my skincare video then you'll have kind of seen these in here but if not I'll leave that in the description box below because recently my skin has started to get a bit spotty and I really needed to change up my skincare routine and kind of try out some new things and just trying to kind of shop my stash a bit more which is what I did and um, I started using the um, Body Shop Tea Tree sort of collection and part of the collection is what I've got is the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Toner, I also got the Squeaky Clean Scrub and I've got the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Lotion. Now all of these things I've already had in my stash, I use a scrub more on a regular basis and um, you may know that already but when my skin started to be a bit dodgy I thought right I need to do something so I started using the other two bits as well more regularly. Now I was using the toner in the morning and in the evenings just with a cotton pad just all over my face after I'd done a bit of cleansing and then I was using the toner toner then I was using the lotion after the toner just on the kind of more spotty areas now this stuff um, is probably better for people with kind of more oily skin I wouldn't go there if you've got quite sensitive dry skin because it is quite a drying out thing I think it's there to kind of dry up your skin and just kind of get rid of those spots but these products have really helped me out and they stopped my spots I have got quite clear skin again which is thank goodness and they just made the spots that were there a lot sort of less red and less kind of angry so I would definitely recommend these bits and they're not particularly expensive because they're kind of high street so definitely check it out if you haven't already and I'm looking to kind of use more of the body shop skincare just because I was really impressed with this and next time I might use the seaweed um, collection so let me know if you use any of them or if you'd recommend anything from the body shop. Now last month I got a nice little parcel from Benefit and they sent me through um, a few of their new kind of bits They've kind of got a new colour range for their Push Up and Real Liner um, collection. Now this is the Their Real Push Up Liner in brown. Now at first I didn't think I would like having a brown eyeliner, but I really have been enjoying this and I loved the black version of this. I just never repurchased really it myself because I do think it's quite expensive, it's in its 20s I think if I remember. But it is a really nice product and I loved it obviously when I had it in the black. So. This, to be honest, is no different really from the black because it's such a dark brown. I don't really notice much of the difference, but it is quite nice to have a little bit of a change of colour. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you were thinking about giving it a go. But as I say, this is quite expensive, so that's probably why I haven't repurchased it. But I really do like it. If you've never looked at these before, they've got a rubber tip to them. So it's kind of meant to be easier to apply. I think it is, but I think you do have to do a little bit of practice because... Otherwise, it can be a little bit messy, and while I'm sitting here, the eyeliner stuff is kind of squeezing out of the top, so I'm just going to put some tissue on there. So you do have to be careful, and I think because of that, you probably get a bit of wastage as well, because this little thing here is the thing that turns it, and that pushes up the eyeliner. So I think you have to be a bit careful that you're not just pushing all the stuff out of it, and then you're just wasting it. But yeah, I have been enjoying wearing that this month, and yeah, if I fancy the splurge then I would definitely repurchase it. I'll do this next because it's another eye product and I got this from Phil Unique recently and it's the Bourjois Colour Band kind of eyeshadow liner stick thing and this is in the shade Brune da Taste number two whatever it is basically it's a copper colour and it is really really pretty and I have been using this kind of more on like my waterline on the bottom and on the top I'm not actually wearing it today which is a bit stupid I have been wearing this quite a few times this month and I was wearing it in a few of my videos this month and a few of you asked me what I was wearing in those videos so it must have looked quite nice and you guys must have thought it looked nice on me so yeah this is a really nice all rounder shade and I have got the other one of this in a beige shade and I do not like that because it's not pigmented at all and it's really hard to get onto your eye whereas this is a lot sort of smoother I don't know whether my beige one is perhaps a little bit of a dodgy one um, but this one is a lot better so yeah I'm a lot more impressed with this one and the next favourite from July I'm actually wearing which is Essie Fiji and I actually got this um, for my birthday birthday and I've been wearing it kind of most of July. I absolutely love this. I used to really like this um, and I kind of really wanted it again because my old one got gloopy but it's just the perfect pastel pinky whitey colour ever and nothing in my opinion kind of lives up to this. 
I've tried to find better dupes but I just cannot and yeah I just love it so much so if you are after like a, the perfect pastel then Essie Fiji is definitely the one. Something else I got from Phil Unique is the the Balm Mary Lou Manizer and honestly this is amazing Um, I've worn this quite a few times in July it's not kind of an everyday product in my opinion because it is a really pretty highlighter and I don't think you need to wear this to work for example but I've been wearing it at the weekends and it is so so pretty and you guys will know that the Balm Fat Boy Blush is one of my favourites and it's what I wear most of the time now and this little beauty is so so pretty I'm wearing it now you probably can't actually tell but it's super super lovely I think it's about £11 so it's not too bad but yeah I love it and it's the perfect shimmer it's not glittery it's really subtle and it's just really really pretty so that is what I have been loving as well in July now we're going to move on to a couple of non-beauty favourites this is actually a book that I read um, in July I got this for my birthday for my friend Charlotte and it is really really funny I've never actually read anything by Lindsay Kelk but I know that a lot of people think she's really good and I am definitely going to read some more of her books now. I love her sense of humour, I love that the book was really kind of like down to earth and really normal and yeah I love like the little things in there. At the end it's got some really cool things like text messages and all the emojis are kind of what I would use so yeah I really like it it's really relatable and the book itself is really funny so I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for like a summer read it would definitely be a really good holiday read so yeah I have been loving that the last thing I wanted to mention is actually something that I have been loving for a very long time but I thought I'd mention it now because I've been having a few more recently and she's a graze box Um, I love getting these to work because they're just like the perfect snacks for like mid morning if you're not sure what to have and I kind of order them and then you'll get them and then you can kind of spread it out across the week so if you don't know what graze is you basically get these little boxes delivered and inside you'll get four snacks they do have different varieties by the way um, and these are the snacks that I've got in mine. I haven't actually eaten these ones yet. So in here I've got a peanut butter and um, breadstick one. I've got Mississippi barbecue pistachios, Herbie bread basket and chocolate tea cake. This is actually a light box. So yeah, these are just the perfect kind of things to take to work. And only £3.99 a box, which I think is really, really good. But the good thing is I have got a voucher code for you guys below, which will give you your first box for free. So if you want to try that out or um, get involved with me, then definitely go and follow that link and use that code because I'd definitely give it a go if you haven't already. They are really, really good. So that is everything that I am going to show you for this month. Um, there have been a few nice bits that I've added to my little collection and I really like them. So I'm looking forward to kind of keep on using them. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it, please. And comment below. I like to always comment back. And yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye.